I pretty much hung her, like, I just, I picked her up and had her just, like, dangling off the ground. In the early morning of December 3rd, 2016, a 911 call was placed by a passing motorist about an abandoned car left on the side of a bridge in Belmar, New Jersey. 911, where is the emergency? Uh, yeah, not emergency. Um, actually, on the Belmar Bridge, right after heading south in the middle of the bridge, there's a car that's abandoned. It's off to the side of the road. The car belonged to 19-year-old Sarah Stern. Once family members were informed about her abandoned car, with the keys left in the ignition, and could not get in touch with Sarah, a massive missing person search was launched. But authorities came up with nothing. Sarah's friend, 19-year-old Liam McCatazny, being the last person to be seen with Sarah, was questioned by police. Liam gave the implication to police officers that Sarah was not happy at home and may have wanted to leave town, or even be suicidal. I know that her dad's taken money from her in the past. Uh, I think her mom was supposed to leave her money or something. I know she definitely has a lot of trust issues with her dad, so I've just been trying to help her out with that. I've, I've been friends with her since first grade, so we have a pretty good friendship. In the past, she has had a tendency to have self-destructive suicidal behavior. If there's any way that she contacts you in any way that you two may make contact, yeah. if you think about something that you guys talked about that might be important that you're not thinking about and you're telling us now, you got to call us and let us know. Like I told you again, there's resources and people out here right now risking themselves yeah. to find her. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm just you want to do this job, now you put yourself in our shoes and what us and all the everybody else is going through. Definitely. All right? There's a lot of people out here trying to find this young lady, and you seem to be the last person that had any contact with her. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's why we're here spending the time with you, man. I, I understand. I just know she's been trying to get away. You can tell me she's going to Canada. So I want you to think very hard. About your conversation, take as much time as you need. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to think about your conversation that you had with Sarah on Friday. Mm -hmm. I want you to put yourself back in her house with her. And I want you to think about what the things that she said to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. One thing I, I want to talk to you guys about was um, if she, she did jump off the bridge. What are the odds that she's not coming all the way out in the ocean by now? And did she tell you she was going to jump off the bridge? No. If, if she had told me that I that she was going to jump off the bridge, there would have been no way that I could have gone to work that night. I I went to work and I I had one of the best nights of my life. I, I had a bunch of I made a bunch of money. All my tables were good, I had a great time. It definitely, I would not have been able to do that if I knew something. You can walk, you can just hang tight right here, we're just gonna step out from there. Yeah, thanks, no problem. Over the past few weeks, um, she's been just packaging things up in containers and moving them to other people's houses. Um, did you, did, do you think her behavior was odd? Yeah. I didn't think it at first, but I she's always wanting to go to Canada. One thing I, I want to talk to you guys about was um if she she did jump off the bridge. What are the odds that she's not somewhere all the way out in the ocean by now? And did she tell you she was going to jump off the bridge? No. One month later, a friend of Sarah's, Anthony Curry, 
came forward and told police that Liam had said to him the previous Thanksgiving that he had planned to kill Sarah and take a large sum of money that Sarah had recently acquired. Anthony agreed to have a hidden camera installed in his vehicle and have a meeting with Liam. During the meeting, Liam reveals the grim details of how he murdered Sarah for money she had in the small safe and how he and his former roommate, Preston Taylor, who was also Sarah's prom date one year earlier, tossed Sarah's body over the Belmore Bridge to make it look like she committed suicide. You can't blame me for doing this, right? I gotta see the other one for a second, all right? No disrespect. I'll show you. No disrespect, okay? Look. Yeah, I got the FBI on my ass, dude. What are they questioning? Oh, yeah. A lot. For what? The worst part of it is, I thought I was walking out 50 grand, 100 grand in my pocket. She had one safe, and she took money out, and she only had 10 grand. And this money, I don't know if it was burnt or something, Old money, terrible quality. I don't even know if I can put any of it in the bank. Right, because it'll probably, probably look sketchy, right? It looks sketchy and it'll look like it's Sarah's money, especially if it's a federal investigation. Right. If they're looking for the guy who has the old money. Right, because it's probably like the, the old dollar bills. It's not like the new, because the hundred dollar bills have changed now. Exactly. No, it's from the 80s, dude. It's old. And then, what's she found in her house or something? Huh? She found in her house or something? Yeah. She found a lot of money. And I didn't... I didn't even get a quarter of it. So you only got, like, what, seven? Seven of you said? Somewhere around there. And you spent it all? No, I... I didn't even try to do anything with it because it's in such bad like, shape. Yeah, you can't even use it. Like, I need to play low and then maybe, like, tape some it up and see if I can put it in the bank. So what, do you have it hidden? Yeah. Where'd you hide it? It's in hook. First it was in my house for a long time, but then I stopped trusting Preston. Yeah, what's the deal with Preston? Was he... No, he's cool. He was... Did you have that like, help from you? Oh, yeah. Sarah's whole deal was my thing. But I had planned Sarah's situation for me to be interrogated by cops. Like, that was whole part of my plan, to make me look not guilty. Like, what did you have to You didn't hear that? It was all over the news. Oh, but I didn't know if you, like, you went to Yeah. And the worst part is, we threw her off the bridge, and the body never showed up. It's probably frozen. It's probably all the way out of the ocean. And it's fucking frozen, so she's not coming up anytime soon. She, her body's probably at the bottom of the ocean, but she got eaten by a shark or something. Yeah. Bro, this is like a movie. Bro. Yeah. And, dude. All right, so, I'm hanging out with her. She has, we, we went to the bank. She took some money out, not all of her money. We're counting it out, and then she goes to walk out the front door. I choke her out, drag her. My biggest problem was the dog, and her dog laid there and watched as I killed her. Didn't do anything. Her dog, what kind of dog? Yeah, what kind of dog is that? It's like some, was it a big dog? It looks like a beagle, but it's like the size of a Great Dane. Jeez. Nobody was there? No, nobody was there. Even her dad wasn't there. He was in Florida. Yeah, you said that he was there. Yeah. So, I have to leave. I dropped my phone at Sarah's house. My phone was at Sarah's house. Like... Wait, you left your phone? Yeah, I lost it. I couldn't find it. I had to go to work. I had timed everything out so that... Why did you take your phone? You should have left it in your pocket. Dude. What were you doing? Strangling someone? I couldn't find it, dude. It ended up being out in the driveway. 
Or it must have dropped on you. It must have dropped when I was crawling to the, get in the car. But I took her out, dragged her into the back, put her in the bathroom, and then I had to go straight to work. So Preston came over, took the body, put it in the bushes, and then I was at work. I had a full like night of work, except I left work a couple times, which looks sketchy. To look for my phone though, which is a reasonable like thing to do. Yeah, you gotta look for your phone. Yeah, you which it, it's kind of like me losing my phone is kind of a good thing because the cops are like, oh, he's hanging out out there. He lost his phone. His phone. He's going back and forth between his house looking for it. Mm-hmm. And then I get off work that night, go straight over. Uh, Preston and I go over to her house, take her safe, bring that over to my house before we do anything. Then we take her body out of the bushes and drag it over to her back fence, and I crawl, get into her car, and I back up. She had, there's a security camera across the street, so I had to back. I had to act like her. I watched her every time she backed out. She does the same thing. So I backed out exactly like she did and drove off. Put her in the trunk. No, put her in the passenger seat of her own car. And then Preston and I had these walkie-talkies to communicate with. We just used them again. So I was driving, and I had her buckled in in the passenger seat. So she looks like she's just sleeping. She's just sitting up. And my, my plan was for me, I underestimated my own strength and how much a dead body would weigh. Because... It's lit, it's lit weight? Yeah. I got up on top of the bridge to throw her off. My, my plan was I was going to throw her off, run over, jump over the divider, and get in the president's car. And I go up, open the door, unhook her, pull her out, start dragging her to throw her over, and then cars start coming up. I see, like, headlights coming. I try to get her over, and I can't. Leg up. Like, the weight from her body, like, made me fall, and my leg, like, went up. So now I'm lifting my leg up, and there's three cars coming up. So I grab her body. Dude, I had superhuman strength, and I threw it in the car, and I up here and her foot with her head her head was down there and three cars go by and I'm f-ing losing my because that easily could have been a cop mm-hmm. and then I mean the police station is like right there yeah yeah and then Preston comes over the bridge goes around and makes a U-turn comes up behind me the two of us throw the body over and then we grab oh so you needed help I needed help yeah She's not even allowed to be with a girl, right? No. I'd say 160 pounds, max. So you just counted it out and then went behind her, just whatever they're looking? Mm-hmm. She like screaming and shit. Or you had her so tight that it was like. I pretty much hung her, like. I just. I picked her up and had her just like dangling off the ground and she just pissed herself and you lose control of said my name and then that was it. And it took me a half an hour to kill her. I thought I was going to be able to choke her out and have her out in like a couple minutes. I choked her out and then she was just laying there having a seizure or something. So then I just, I had to, I got a shirt and I just shoved it down her throat so she wouldn't throw up or anything and held my finger over her nose and set a timer. That's the only time I had my phone. And it took me like a half an hour after I hit start on the timer. This this is the thing about like heights. There's so much that you can't account for. You don't know. Yeah. You, you don't know until it happens. And the, the next month was just me getting interrogated by cops over and over and over again. Why? Because you were the last one to be with her? Yeah. And then you threw the phone, I guess? Through the phone calls? They know because it was just a known... It was part of my plan for them to know that we were hanging out. Right. Because it, 
I needed to make it seem like we were better friends than we actually were, mm -hmm. so that they wouldn't question my behavior with her. Who's that, like your brother and shit? Did he question anything? He doesn't, he doesn't know. Josh did. Josh is the only one that I've seen him question, but he wouldn't do anything. So you told him? No. Mm -hmm. You were the only person on this planet that knows besides Preston. And Preston doesn't know that you know. And I think we should probably get back to our house. Because I'm going to get that Where is that? That fucking work at 6 a.m. True. Because Preston doesn't like this idea. He doesn't like that you didn't just come to the house. And if he knows that you know, I don't want him. You know what? I want there to be a chance. I know they question me. I'm in Brooklyn. The the cops haven't questioned me. I, I know you. I know you're not a rat, but we gotta we gotta play it safe. Anyone? No, yeah, I understand. Yeah. It could be anyone, and I don't want Preston to, to think that he has to kill you and take you out because you are the only person that knows. Because I've tried to tried to imply that you might know, and he gets really upset. So maybe don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Yeah. But you're the only person besides the person that knows. And I told you that in the beginning. That's how it's going to be. I planned this thing out for like six months. Yeah. And I didn't get a lot of money, but I had enough money to just be like, living comfortably in my house, throwing parties all the time, doing whatever the hell I want to do. Actually, I come out of the shower, Preston's mom's on the couch talking to him, they're all like secretive as shit. and I just go in my room and freaking out like what the f*** is she doing over here? She leaves, next thing I know, the entire Belmar police force is at my door taking Preston away. Like I thought they were arresting him. They were gonna get. He was gonna tell them everything. He didn't say fucking word. He didn't say anything. You know, I was losing my shit. Hope you be careful, yo. I mean, the cops are already fucking like third question, so you gotta be fucking be careful. That's all over now, though. I think everything is over. So you don't gotta worry about. It. I don't know. Because a 19-year-old just went missing, just like Sarah. Car was on the bridge. I don't feel any different, and I don't think about it. You always think you're gonna try these new things, and you're gonna change. But it didn't change. It just doesn't do anything. It's weird. Patience. 